What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we're a crowbat sweep. Crowbat is a bat. Now, a couple of days ago, right, I did a full 69 tape, and I asked where you'd like to see the crowbat sweep and the shenanigans, whether there was a lot of yeses, so I thought, let's do tonight's video. That's crowbat. Now, crowbat's got inner focus, and it's got infiltrator as its abilities, right? Now, inner focus is really cool, right, because obviously you stop getting flinched, and you're immune to intimidate, which is very, very nice on a physical set. Infiltrator, on the other hand, is very, very good against uh, ignoring the subtutes and all the screens and that sort of stuff, though. Both of them are very good abilities. Now, if you want to come and watch some of the battles there, I'm actually streaming right now on Twitch, and I'm going to be taking battles for my viewers. Getting There might be a little bit of salt, and it's going to be lots of entertaining people. So maybe if you check this video out and come and check me out on Twitch, the link is in the description of the video. Okay, uh, today's uh, battle, this one was against uh, Kid Zero. Now, at the start, right, I was using the 69 team, right? I wasn't really attempting to go for a Crowbat sweep. It sort of changed out, you know, throughout the battle that I wanted to do that, right? Because I was actually trying to get footage for the 69 team a couple of days ago. So we've got a Giggly feed here. I've got Aurorus as my lead. Now, as soon as I seen Giggly as the lead, I'm thinking, okay, we're going to have some sand and we're going to have some stealth rocks, but there was no sand. So I'm like, okay, this has got sturdy, right? So I, I better set up the stealth rock here and help out my team. Now, I believe on this team, I had the, I think it was the Screlp as uh, one of the Pokemon on my team. And that sort of worked with the Dragon Tail phasing set, right? So I could phase the opponent out. So that's why I set up the Stealth Rock there. So we got the Giglyph setting up the Stealth Rock here. And I've also got Hyper Beam, Psychic, and Meteor Beam on this. This is a Hyper Beam, uh, Meteor Beam, like uh, special attacking set. I think it was Max Health and Max Special Attack. So I fired off the Hyper Beam, right? I was like, this has got to do a lot of damage. Or at least put Giglyph down to its 30. And it almost takes it out. It was very, very close here. Anyway, Giglyph's going to go for the Stone Edge, and my friends, it's time for the big bad crow bat. Yes, it's a bat. Alright, unfortunately, the Crobat Sweep ended up filing to Cramorant, the greatest Generation 8 Pokemon. Because mainly, I didn't actually go for the Sweep at the start. I just went for Dynamax. Normally, I would go for Curse first and then go for Dynamax. But I didn't have much time to actually do that, right? And then when I tried to go for the Curse against the Cramorant, I took unnecessary damage from the Surf. And then, of course, its ability activated and I fired a little fish in me. So, it didn't really work out that great there. If I was able to get the Curse up a bit earlier... I think I probably would have got that. I was in a pretty good position there. Uh, the other Pokemon on my team were like Screlp and, uh, and Tyrant, right? So I didn't have many good Pokemon left after that. I think we played the battle out, though, but I couldn't do anything against their Pokemon team. It was, like, way too strong. So we got a, uh, a Spectra here, and this is a battle against Felix, and we got a very, very legitimate Spectra here. So what I did, right, I was thinking about this for a while. Should I go for the Stealth Rock or just go for a, uh, a Meteor Beam to get a special attack boost? In the end, I decided 
had to go for Stealth Strike, right? You got to remember, I wasn't actually going for the Crobat Sweep here. I was trying to get some quality battles for the 69 Pokemon team. Now, this Spectre is going to be going for Mudshot here. Mudshot was about a three hit KO, maybe four hit KO's chance of taking my Aurorus out. I felt like I could live maybe one more and take this out, right? Now, I actually went for Meteor Beam here, and I was pretty hopeful this should be able to take it out, right, with a special attack boost. Now, Mudshot also drops your speed by 100% uh, chance of dropping your speed by one stage every time, too. Not that it really mattered, because my Aurorus was a max health, max special attack set. So, firing off that big Meteor Beam at the Spectre, and Spectre is on the tiniest amount of health there. I was like, man... I would have loved to get that KO. Obviously, now it's going to be a range to take me out. I, I was actually kind of confident I could live this run. So it's like, okay, let's go for Psychic, right? That's my best move here. And then they Dynamax. So obviously, they really wanted to get the KO against my Aurora's. But they Dynamax on such a low amount of health. So I was like, okay. This isn't all that bad. If I'm able to withstand the next attack from Spectra, I know that I can take this out. That was my thought process at the time. And I was like, maybe Crobat could come in here and just take it out with any move. Like, Crobat's quite quick. It's uh, running a max speed set. So here comes a max quake from the Spectra there. And the Spectra is obviously going to take me out. They had a lot more base power than the Mud Trial run. All right, people. It's time to swap in the Crobat and outspeed this Spectra, hopefully, and see if we can get the sweep. I can guarantee you, people, there's definitely not going to be some salt coming up. All right. Enjoy the sweep, people. Maybe.